today. And today we're going to have a game of Altered Beast for the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. And this is the 1 to 8K version. Okay. So this is a game I have not played back in the day. Didn't play it on the arcades. But I have reviewed it on the Amstrad CPC, which was absolutely shit. And I have reviewed it on the Commodore 64, which wasn't brilliant. It was an average game. Um, the Mega Drive version, no, I didn't particularly like. As I said, I've not played it on the arcades. Um, right, let's see how the Spectrum version plays. Right, okay. Stop the tape. It's emulation. Right, okay. Define curse. Right, let's redefine our keys. Oh, we got sound. Right. Up, down, left, right, and space bar for fire. No M. Um, right, space bar to start. I command you to rise from your grave and rescue my daughter. Yeah? And I command you to go fuck yourself and do it yourself, you bastard. How dare you, fucking. No respect for the dead. Um, here we go. Oh dear. Colour Clash City. <laughs> Oh my god, this looks disgusting. Right. But look at the look at the scroll. I mean he moves. The character moves quite well actually. It's I mean he moves quick pretty quick. The scrolling, what is going on with the scrolling in the background? Looks like one of those CCTV cameras. Yeah, so we got a horrendous. Well, oh, ain't bad. Until, like. You know, that's not too bad when he's walking, it's nothing on screen. Then it's like Colour Clash Hell. Well, I will go to say this, it plays much better than the Amstrad CPC version. Yeah. Even that looked like a fucking mess. Oh no, it had nice colours, but the graphics looked like fucking shit. And it just played like shit. Oh my god, I'm getting zapped. For fuck's sake. Come here, you bastard. Yeah, I don't know what that's all about, that fucking scrolling. That's just horrible. Oh, my legs fell off. Ah, oh, fuck. I blew up. Blew up. Right. Where am I? Where the fuck? What happened there? I'm oh, fucking Superman all of a sudden. I'm waiting for something to happen. Look, look at this. Oh, here we go. Something is happening. No, I won't bother with that. Ooh! Right, the controls are pretty responsive, I'll give it that. Oh. I mean he moves quite he moves quite well on this. Say it moves better than the Commodore 64 version. But even the Commodore 64 version weren't that great. So music sounds quite good. Uh, I, I, I just, I don't like the colours. I don't like the colours. I could have chose better colours than this, I, I reckon. I think, if it was in monochrome, 
might have been better. I don't know. Oh, it's what's his? Oh, fuck off, Mr. Zapman. It's a Zapman. Fuck off. Hang on a minute. Did he take me all the way back to the beginning again when I died? Oh, fuck off. If that's the case, then no, I don't like that. Oh, it was his legs that fell off, not mine. And I said the legs fell off. I've caught up the... Now, I can't recall if the screen scrolled by, by itself on the other versions. I think it did, but this is one frame per second. There's no slowdown, I'll give it that also. There's no slowdown going on. And I'm dead. Right, it doesn't send you back to the beginning then. So that's good. But it just feels that I've seen it all before. I see him again, fuck off. Oh my god. Yeah, I bet he likes a lot of head as well, bastard. Oh. Fuck here now. Yeah. Fucking, how am I supposed to fucking kill him then? So he's got all these heads. Hang on a minute. How many fucking lives do I get? I must get a lot of lives. Right, I'm down to three lives. No, I'm down to two. What is going on? So if I get close to him, so am I supposed to fucking kick the head, kick his head in? Kick his head in? Kick, kick his heads in? Yeah, I think there's a tiny bit of slowdown going on now and every time those heads... Or it gets more jumpy jerkier. So he keeps going back to four. Now it's gone to three. Now, I've said this once and I'll say it again. I don't purposely activate cheats on when I review games. I wasn't even aware that this ROM had cheats. Because it don't take you into any trainer things or anything like that. It just loads it into the game. That's normal. No, it ain't got cheats, thank fuck. Oh, it fucking crashes! What is it with these fucking Spectrum games that crash? Now, I was uh, I was I have been um, told that when I'm reviewing Spectrum Spectrum games and they do crash, I'm supposed to um, run the tape as like it was a real tape but on the emulation. So I was supposed to go into the file and whatever. That's probably why some of the games are not loaded properly. But this is just crashed. This has just gone back into basic. So, I don't know what happened there. Um, but the game, now the game played okay. Um, control wise it was quite responsive. The, the character moved quite nicely. Um, but the scrolling was really shit. It was at least one frame per second. Now, Color Clash 
you know, if you're a Spectrum person, you know all about Color Clash. Um, so there was quite a bit in this, but when there was nothing on screen, there wasn't much Color Clash going on. Now, I will say it's much better than the CPC version. Because that was just horrendous to play. All about the Commodore 64 version. Well, I'm probably going to put it on par with that. Even that work version wasn't great, but this had nice controls and all that. But I don't know. It seemed quite repetitive. But this would have been an arcade conversion, so you would have been paying, paying full price. Yeah, I, I don't think it's that good of a conversion. But then again, none of them were. Anyway, going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.